She had the same question as a little girl. You've heard the story probably. Daddy, I'm afraid that I will never be strong enough to be a martyr for Jesus Christ. Her father wisely responded, When you take a trip on a train from Harlem to Amsterdam, when do I give you the money for the ticket? Three weeks before? No, Daddy. You give me the money for the ticket just before we get on the train. That's right, he, he replied. And so it is with God's strength. Our wise Father in heaven knows when you are going to need things too. Today, you do not need the strength to be a martyr. But as soon as you are called upon for the honor of facing death for Jesus, he will supply the strength you need just in time. Corey told her audience, later, I had to suffer for Jesus in a Nazi concentration camp. He indeed gave me all the courage and power I needed. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. If you receive your suffering with the prayer and the hope of magnifying Christ, you will be suffering as a Christian. And this promise will be true for you. In the hour of trial, the question will be thrown in your face. Where's your God? You can't stop this persecution. What good is he? Where is he? And according to this text, the answer that God himself will give you is, I am here resting on you in your death throes with glory and God. What we will feel in that moment, in the shame of it, the degradation of it, the misery of it, the utter non-romantic moment of it, what we will feel is the furthest thing imaginable from glory. It won't feel like glory. It won't look like glory. The cross didn't look like glory. It's not glorious. It's ghastly. But the Spirit of God will not let that be the last word because He's not only the Spirit of God, but the Spirit of glory. Verse 14 again, the Spirit of glory and of God rests on you. That's what you can count on as the child of God.